Hello everybody, Brother Portillo here, getting ready to tell you another Bible story. I uh, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, today's Bible story, uh, we can find it in uh, Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. Um, and I also have a memory verse, uh, John 14, 6. Jesus told them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Remember that. That's our memory verse for today. And uh, this is uh, the Bible story of uh, the, the crowd welcoming Jesus into uh, Jerusalem. But uh, in, in our Bible, it has it broken down as the triumphal entry. Okay. So um, again, uh, it's Matthew chapter 21, verses 1 through 11. And um, I'm going to give you the short version. And then uh, you can get your uh, parents to uh, read it to you. Uh, but uh, let's go ahead and get started with our story. Uh, Jesus was traveling with his disciples to Jerusalem. As he came to the Mount of Olives outside a village called Bethphage, Jesus instructed two of his disciples to go into the village where they would find a donkey tied with a colt. Jesus told the disciples to untie the animals and bring them to him. He told the man that if anyone asked what they were doing, they should say, the Lord needs them. So uh, this happened to fulfill a prophecy, uh, uh, God's word, that was written hundreds of years before. The prophecy said, look, your king is coming, riding on a young donkey. The disciples followed Jesus' instructions. They brought the donkey and the coat. Uh, put their robes on them, and Jesus sat on top of them. As Jesus rode, a large crowd of people spread their robes on, on the road. Others cut branches from the trees and spread them out on the road as well. Crowds of people went in front of him and followed after him. They shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred up and asked, Who is this? The crowd replied, This is Jesus from Nazareth of Galilee. So uh, this is uh, Jesus uh, about a week uh, before he's going to be crucified. He's coming in to, to uh, Jerusalem. And uh, there in this little town of Bethphage, and uh, he gives instructions to uh, two of his disciples, telling them, hey, go and uh, get me the donkey and a colt. They're going to be tied up. But if anyone asks you, hey, what are you doing? Just tell them that the Lord needs them. And sure enough, they go and they find the donkey and the colt tied up, just as Jesus said. And uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, the owner or someone that knew that uh, the donkey and the colt didn't belong to the two disciples. I'm sure they, they asked, hey, what, what's going on? Wouldn't you say something if uh, someone took uh, something that belonged to you? Would you be able to give it up? And if somebody said, well, the Lord needs it, would you give it up? Well, apparently the, the owner or the man, uh, or the, uh, the uh, owner of the donkey and the colt, he, he did. So, so the, uh, the disciples brought uh, the donkey and the colt back to Jesus. So there's one thing that I want you to understand is that um, uh, in the Old Testament, uh, whenever the king was going to go out to war, uh, he would be riding a horse, okay? And uh, uh, he'd go out and lead uh, Israel uh, in, in battle, but he was riding a horse. But if the king was riding a donkey going, you know, wherever, whatever town, he would come in peace. And as we uh, read this story today, uh, we see that uh, uh, Jesus comes in peace. Yes, the donkey uh, uh, and the colt are with him, but he's riding the donkey. So uh, whenever um, they brought the donkey and the colt to Jesus, the disciples, they took off their robes and uh, they placed them on, on the donkey. So that way uh, Jesus could use it like a, a saddle. Uh, and uh, so Jesus sits on the donkey and he starts going into the town and, and, uh, you know, wherever Jesus went, uh, there was always a crowd. Uh, some uh, that were uh, uh, looking for the, the Savior, 
uh, and, and some that just wanted to see another miracle uh, um, because they had already seen where he turned water into wine. They had already seen where he uh, turned the, uh, or multiplied the, the fish and the bread and, and they, they ate. So I'm sure that uh, some of these people, they just wanted to see another miracle. Uh, but it says that some, uh, some of the people as well as Jesus was coming in, they took off their robes as well. And then it says that some others went and cut uh, branches from the tree and laid them on the road as, as Jesus was going by. So uh, they, they were receiving, some were receiving Jesus, you know, and, and, and they were saying, um, Hosanna, son of David, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. So Hosanna in the highest. So imagine that. So, some were praising Jesus, you know, as the king. And um, if you see him uh, riding on the donkey, that means that he was coming in peace. Uh, and just so you know that Jesus is the prince of peace. So uh, uh, he didn't come to make war, but he came to save us from our sin. And that's what happened a week later when he was crucified. So guys, uh, I want you to understand this story. And uh, here's a question or two. Uh, see if you uh, paid attention. Um, what did Jesus uh, command the two of uh, the disciples to do? Well, yeah, he told them to go in, uh, to the village and find uh, the donkey and the colt and bring it to him, right? Because they're going to be tied up. Okay, so they brought it to him, right? And another question would be, what did the disciples place on the animals for Jesus to sit on? Right, the robes. Remember, they took off their robes and they put them on the donkey and the colt. All right. So uh, the, the other one would be, what did the crowd do? Well, they did two things. Uh, some put uh, their uh, robes on the ground as well and some cut branches. But then others were shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Wow, that's a, that's a, a, a big praise there. So, uh, uh, I think some of those people knew who Jesus was. So do you know who Jesus is? Jesus is the Son of God, okay? And Jesus came to die for our sins, all right? So um, just uh, uh, real quick, remember again our verse, uh, John 14, 6. Jesus told them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 